What we're trying to achieve with this set of videos is get across to the shareholders what the logic is behind the drilling and the exploration that we're doing to advance each one of the targets. And so it's to try and supplement the information that is being given to the shareholders via press releases through images and uh, some shots from, from the field and a bit of discussion from, from the field. And then the second thing that's absolutely crucial is that it gives us an opportunity to check our logic uh, to make sure that each uh, piece of logic is sequential. Yeah. So th this, this exercise is actually really useful for a, as, an, a, as a double check for, for ourselves for to, to make sure that we're developing the targets logically. Mm -hmm. One thing is that we, we know that not only have we got different kinds of deposits in, in the belt that, that we should be looking for, but within each one of those deposit styles, each deposit is always different. And so from the stream sediment work that we've done and the follow-up of the uh, soil geochemistry and the, the field mapping that, that we've done, what we're doing is creating these, these sort of puzzle pieces and we don't have a complete picture. Uh, we're, we're putting those puzzle pieces in place in the best way that we can see at the moment, uh, but the picture is incomplete and uh, so each new piece of information helps us to refine those puzzle pieces and, and, and get them into, into the right uh, position or right order to give us a better picture of what the target is to allow us to, to drill more, more precisely and, and more efficiently. We know uh, already what, what kind of uh, deposit we can expect in, uh, in the Kuchuku. Just looking to, to the sort, uh, we have the same, uh, the same uh, uh, geological environment. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we can expect to have a, a porphyry copper like uh, in, uh, uh, in Mirador, uh, just a sort of, uh, of uh, the Kutuku, but also a gold deposit like the one uh, Keith team found in, in, uh, in Futa de Norte, which is a uh, uh, intermediate uh, uh, um, epithermal uh, gold deposit. And, and the copper resources down there are 30 billion pounds, so it's a, it's, it's a huge kind of target uh, uh, to absolutely. be looking at. Yeah. And, and then Fruta del Norte is a, a, is a world-class uh, gold, yeah. gold silver deposit. There is also uh, Nabija uh, to the south, which is uh, uh, one of the lost, uh, lost yeah. city, and it's a huge, huge de scam deposit. And and Nambija, I mean the, the the official gold recovery from there, I think was 2.7 million ounces of gold, but probably twice or three times that amount was was actually sold yeah, into the, nobody uh, an official know. market. So <laughs> it's it's a really big gold. It's deposit, a very big uh, gold deposit. Yeah, and uh, in addition of all this deposit uh, known here in Ecuador. We have the same geology than uh, part of, uh, of Peru, where you have uh, this uh, big zinc uh, uh, laid on silver uh, deposit. Yeah. So it gives us. So although that's not found in Ecuador, it hasn't been found yet. No. We know that it's in the same belt in, in northern Peru, and so we should be open to finding that, that kind of deposit. Yeah. When we went into this project, we believed that we would have multiple targets. Um, and we had that concept right, right from the beginning. But you know, now we've flown the geophysics, we haven't said much about the geophysics because mm -hmm. there are certainly multiple targets in the geophysics. Uh, the stream sediment sampling that your team has been doing is also defining multiple, multiple targets. And you know, it's very easy for a company of our size to be overwhelmed by just trying to deal with, with, with too many targets. So. You know, the, the, the one way that we can try to leverage shareholder value is through the scout drilling. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that it's an easy term to use, but it's a completely different discipline. Um, you know, the, the, the logic being that we drill, um, so the scout, the scout drilling means to drill, you know, a handful of, of holes on each target uh, to give us a better sense of how real that target is. Number one, were we right about the kind of deposit that we thought it was? And it also gives us data that allows us to then go to big companies, big base metal companies, be they copper companies mm -hmm. or, or whatever, and say to them, look, this is a deposit. Our, our uh, main orientation is towards gold. 
uh, we think that this is going to be a, a, a potentially a, 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 a copper deposit. Why don't you guys take it forward in, in, in a joint venture, leaving our shareholders with participation in that bit. Uh, you know, then it's the big company's money that is coming in rather than us going back to our shareholders uh, for, for, for money the whole time. So, you know, that's, that's what the end goal of the, the scout drilling is, obviously. Um, but it, it really means maintaining huge discipline that when we drill the first target, which is going to be Crunchy Hill, and we're already thinking about which is the second target and the third target that we, we're going to be doing uh, the, the, the scout drilling on. Yeah, if, right. we, we, have, we always have a team in a field uh, following the, the new target we, we, we found and are looking, looking for, for a new target. Yeah, also, exactly, and then reprioritizing yeah. those targets and yeah. saying, okay, well, that one that we thought we would drill second, yeah. because we'll the, re drill the, the regional the regional uh, exploration is not is not complete, yeah. and uh, we will we will work in both uh, uh, together at yeah. the same at the main time. And that regional team is really starting to move quickly, quickly now, so and that, faster. So the, yeah. In fact, the bottleneck is with the with the drilling. Um, but you know, the the discipline comes in if uh, you know with with Crunchy Hill, for example. If we're lucky enough to drill something good there, the discipline is going to be to say, okay, we've, we've done the scout drilling, we know what Crunchy Hill is. Now, irrespective of what those results are, we, we move to, to, to the second target yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and then we, we just leave Crunchy Hill in reserve until we've drilled a couple more yeah. targets and then we say, okay, you know, this is the target that's in our uh, in, in Orania's uh, sweet spot yeah, yeah. Um, and this is what we should be spending on our, our money on rather than joint venturing some of the other targets that actually might be bigger targets yeah. uh, financially at the end of the day. Now the scoot drilling, um, the scoot, I don't think we, we can expect to have uh, the mineralization directly in the first hole no, but right. each hole of the, of the uh, the scoot drilling will give us more detail, yeah. more knowledge uh, of, of the deposit we are looking for. Mm. And, and then we will finally hit the mineralization, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, I, I can categorically say I have never drilled a borehole that has hit the target the first time. <laughs> but, you know... Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> one time. Well, good, Only good. one time. So then it's going to be up to you to, to sight the hole <laughs> then, because I, I don't have a huge amount of luck in that. However, that first hole gives information as to, uh, as to how you modify that concept and where to put the second and the third hole. But uh, anyway, so you'll be sighting the, <laughs> the, the first hole. So.